Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll be solving the Imap number program in Java. This question appeared in ISC Computer Science 2013 theory paper. So according to the question, an Imap number is a number which is prime backwards and forwards. Example, 13 and 31 are both prime numbers. Thus, 13 is an Imap number. So 13 is the original number and this is a prime number. When we reverse 13, we get 31 and 31 also is a prime number here. So both the original number and its reverse are prime numbers. Then we can say that the given number is an Imap number. So we have to design a class Imap to check if a given number is Imap number or not. These are the specifications of the class. Class name Imap and these are the data members n to store the original number, rev to store the reverse of the number, f stores the devices. Then we have a parameterized constructor to initialize the data members. Then we have one is prime function, which is going to be a recursive function. It is going to check whether the number is prime or not. If the number is prime, it returns one. Otherwise, it returns zero. So this has to be a recursive function. Is prime function is going to reverse the original number and check both the original and the reverse whether they are prime or not. So we need to specify the class Imab giving details of all of these functions. And we also need to define a main function to create an object. So that's the question. Let's start writing the program. So here I have created a file imab.java. Let's start with the import statement. Then we create the class Imab. We include the data members in rev and f. Then we create the constructor, a parameterized constructor to initialize the number. Rev should be initialized to zero and f as 2 because we are not going to consider 1 and the number itself here because each and every number is divisible by 1 and itself. Let's start with the is prime function now. So public int is prime and it is taking x as the parameter and if x is less than 2 then it's not a prime number because prime number starts from 2 so we write return 0 if the divisor or the factor reaches the number itself that means it is a prime number because in between if it was not divisible by any other number and it is now only divisible by the number itself, we can say that the given number is a prime number. And if x is divisible by the factor in between, then it is not a prime number. And then we increase the factor by 1. And we also call the is prime function one more time. So in each function call, f is changing. And we are checking with a new value of f. And accordingly, it will return 0 or 1. So our is prime function is complete. Let's now create the is imab function. So public 
void is a map. Now here first of all we need to find the reverse of the number. So we write a for loop rev is equal to rev into 10 plus i modulus 10. This code will find the reverse of the number. Now the next step is very important. First of all, we call the is prime function with the original number and we check if it is equal to 1 or not. Now suppose if it is 1. Now while checking for this number, whether it is prime or not, f has been modified. f was initially 2, but f has been modified when we call the is prime function because we are increasing the value of f each time. That's why now to check for the reverse, once again we need to reset the value of f. So once again we reset it to 2 and now we call the is prime function again with rev as the parameter and if this is also equal to 1 then we can print that it is a nimbop number. Else not an imap number. Also, if the first condition itself is false, then this should also have one else where we will print not an imap number. Now we only need to create the main function And inside main, we create the scanner object. Then we ask for the number. So let's say in num equals integer dot percent in dot next line. Now we create an object of the class and remember we had a parameterized constructor so we need to pass the parameter here, the number that we have just received from the user and then we call the isimmer function through the object. So that's all, our program is complete. Let's check the output. So if I enter 13, so yes, 13 is a number number. If I enter 31 also, then also it displays it's a number number. And let's say if I insert 29, no, 29 is not a number number because when we reverse 29, it becomes 92 and 92 is not a prime number. So I hope you have understood how to solve the MAP number program. If you have any questions, you can always get in touch with me through comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next class.